Good morning, video on limited company owners for today for the mortgage purposes. Uh, so there's two ways in which your income can be looked at. The first one is salary and dividends. Uh, that is confirmed on the 5th of April on an SA302, which is like a self-employed person's P60. The other way is looking at net profit after tax. Now, most lenders uh, will use the first method. There's a handful that will use that method and that can enable you to borrow more, particularly if you're a growing business that leaves profit within there. Uh, one year's accounts is definitely possible for you. Ideally, you want to have continuation in the trade, whether you've previously been a sole trader or previously been employed in the same role. Uh, changing jobs completely and going in a different direction, it leaves uncertainty for a mortgage lender. Your liabilities must never outweigh your assets because uh, it means your business could go bust at any point in time and it's just not something that lenders are willing to, to lend to you on. Director's loans is not an acceptable form of income. You've put money into your business and now you're withdrawing it and living on it. Uh, that's just not acceptable as a, as a means to pay your mortgage. Most lenders will want to average your income uh, over a two, some even a three year period. Um, but there's a handful of lenders that will actually accept one year's accounts. So if you've got a growing business, that's something that you won't generally find on the high street, but you can use your latest year only. Uh, and decreasing in profits. If, for example, 2015 was 50,000, 2016 was 25,000, there's no averaging used, they will only go with the 25,000. They're my key six things for a business owner. Um, please do leave me a like, comment, and a share. There's future videos to follow, so hopefully you'll like them.